Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thanks for being part of it. This community is growing faster than I thought. So we are going to open up a Facebook group if any of you are on there, and I think that will be great. I think we'll have a great time on her interacting back and forth. Uh, so I'll let you know when that's up. <clears throat> It'll probably be in about four, five, six days, right around there, so I can get it decorated up and get it ready. And when you get a chance, you know the deal. Check out the website and don't forget to send an email. I'm a little behind on answering my emails. Please be patient. I got a lot going on and get you added to the members ride section. Okay, this week, and I'll tell you about the following two weeks also. I'm sorry to bore you. Maybe some of you aren't bored and want to know what's coming up. This week, we're going to go ahead and try out the Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner because I'm going to need that. So I'm going to try it out today with some rocker arms and some parts I have from the Beetle and see how well it works. Okay, and we'll go over a few things about that. There's a reason I'm doing that. Well, here, let me show you. Uh, I did open it to check, make sure everything was there, and it is. Uh, I want to build this 30 picked, and it's just like the 34. It's slightly different, but not nothing that you would be like, oh man, I, I needed a video on a 34, which I do have one. But this is just another one, and we're going to see how well this ultrasonic cleaner helps out okay but also what we're going to do today though we're going to do some rocker arms some nasty push rod tubes i want to see what it does you know what i mean and i got a lot of different parts i can be messing around with <clears throat> and well we can't fit a crank in there and we don't want to do that anyhow and I got some bolts, you know, some important bolts, stuff like that. I want to clean up. Now, let me get you set up here, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to tackle this. All right, there's a reason I'm going over this real quick, because this week we're cleaning stuff to check out the Harbor Freight Cleaner to see how it works. Next week, we're going to do the Solex Carb Rebuild. I like keeping up on those for people, and I'll be doing that ultrasonic cleaner with that. The third week, we are going to go ahead... I'm going to start out, which won't be fun, there's rust behind here, I'm going to drill these spot welds. Okay, and then we're going to take this bolt out, heavy PB blast first, you know, before you do that stuff. I'm going to pull this body mount out of the way. Okay, then we're going to grind this really well, which I started, as you can see. I have a spot weld cutter like you see here. And I actually picked it up at Riley's. And it's weird. They set a lifetime warranty on it. If it ever dolls, breaks, or anything, bring it back and give me another one. That sounds odd. It'd be like returning a drill bit over and over. Okay. We're going to use the spot weld cutter that I showed you. And we're going to clean this all up so we can find the spot welds. This is in a couple of weeks. It'll be fun. Well, I don't know about fun and we'll drill the spot welds. Okay, the body mount will be removed. We're gonna pull this piece of metal off, okay, because I have rot behind this layer. So we're gonna pull this off. Yeah, I'm making it sound easy. Then we're gonna go ahead and see what we gotta deal with behind here, because I'm probably gonna have to cut this and replace that. But I'll show you why this don't bother me too much. The reason it doesn't bother me too much is look at that frame head. I mean, that's clean. I didn't feel like taking the gas tank out of the way, but the frame head is nice and solid. The heater channels are all solid. The floor pans are solid. I started on that, you know, <clears throat> and I didn't do back here yet with the sound deadening because I get to do some welding there. And honestly, if I've got to do a little work back here, we'll be putting the new quarter panel sections on here so everything's new. But honestly, I can't complain. If i got to do a little work at the back, big deal. Also, I wanted to give a thank you to my buddy Sean. He brought me something he had for like 20 years on hand, an apron 
an old Brazilian one from like 20 years ago, could be more. He's like, here, you want this? And it fits like a glove. And he just gave it to me. He's like, here, you need it, which was really, really nice of him. And he also gave me a rear apron without the cutouts because I'm not running an exhaust that's going to come through the factory cutouts. I just thought that was really nice of Sean to do. I truly appreciated it. And while he was here, because he builds engines, he looked over my engine block, you know, all four halves, two motors, and said, they're good. And I trust him. So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm going to get them line board and cut to 20 thousandths. There are standard bearings in them, you know, for now, but they, it needs done. But he said, I got two good engine blocks. So isn't that awesome? So first, Let's see what's in here. Like I said, everything's there. I opened it up. There's not a lot that comes with it. There's uh, directions. I don't read directions. <clears throat> there is a cord. This power cord actually looks like the same one that plugs into a PC uh, computer tower. So I guess if something stupid ever happened to it, then I know where I can get one out of my wife's drawer. Okay. And... Come on, I already had you out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know why I made that noise. And box out of the way. Okay, and there's the cleaner. So let's see. Oops. What all comes with it. In a second, I'll bring you in a little bit closer. So we have our on and off button. That's for the ultrasonic electrical shock scare you stuff. And then, you know, on and off. Then you can set the timer on it. It goes to 480 seconds. Okay, eight minutes. And then TC is to heat the water up. You know what I mean? So you're going to heat the water up and then the ultrasonic thing and that's how it works. It hey, I want to do that. Oh, I didn't know you wanted to do this. You were going to film without me. I didn't know. Okay. I want to learn. Okay, well, we're going to do the ultrasonic cleaner. We're going to clean some parts today, and then we'll do the carb rebuilt uh, a little later, like a couple more days. So here she is. She stepped in on us, guys. I'm sorry. Deal with me sometimes. <laughs> When you first get your ultrasonic cleaner and open it up, even if you're not going to use it yet, test it to make sure it's okay. All right. So just plug it in, go to the on button. And if you hear that vibration noise, I'm sure you can hear it. Whoops, off. Uh, just to make sure it's working. If not, you're not getting your parts ready and getting down to the last minute and going, oh crap. So. <laughs> she wants to really use this badly because um, I told her you can do jewelry and stuff with it and she's like no my garden tools Ugh, she's not a jewelry girl okay so uh, we're gonna go ahead I got some random parts remember next week we're gonna do the Solex carb rebuilt total rebuilt but we're gonna use this to really get it clean and test it out now here's the deal I have all-purpose simple green okay and I have to check the cut on it I never really go by it too much I usually make stuff strong when I'm doing it and then we have Heather was nice enough I see to bring up a jug of hot water this has a heater on it like you can see here so you can do the heater which I'm going to do but if you can start out with some really high warm water almost hot the heater don't have to work as hard. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing it, okay? But when we go to do the carburetor, we're going to use the B12 chem tool like you see here because it doesn't hurt aluminum, okay? So, and there's awesome. You can use totally awesome. Also, 
You can use... Uh, you can get that at the dollar store. Yeah, she's right. You can get it at the dollar store. And she grabs me a bunch every time she's there. And you can order it online through the dollar store and get yourself a case of it instead of messing around. It's actually, I just found that out recently. Good idea. Uh, also, you can use vinegar, white vinegar, a 50-50 mix with water or distilled water preferably. There's so many things you can do. We'll start messing with this, but I don't want it to be on every video. You know what I mean? I just have some stuff to do. So remember, you're part of the journey. So, so we're going to go ahead and get this filled up and we'll let Heather fill because she's better with measuring. And let me show you something inside of it, okay? Okay, uh, you have your lid that you're gonna wanna put on, obviously, because that, that keeps it warm, all right? Now, it comes with this cool little basket, which you can get nicer baskets, I'm sure, on Amazon. You want to put your parts on here. Don't set them right on the metal. And don't go past this max line because water will get inside this crevice, get down inside, and burn up the chipboard or motherboard inside of it. So don't go past that max line. So once you put this in, and take caution here, you do not want to put your hands in this water when the electronics is turned on. It can cause bone marrow problems and all kinds of things. Caution, don't do that. I'm sorry to yell. Please don't do that. Take caution. When you turn it off, go, go have a, a drink of water or take a pee, whatever you got to do because you want the electricity, so to speak, to get out of that water, like de-energize de or whatever. Okay, I'm sorry, I just wanna take care of you folks. Okay? Maybe unplug it? Well. Just unplug it? I'm just saying, because I know my, my stupidity, I would she's right. it was off and- She's right, I mean, truthfully- If you're outside or you're in a garage, it's really noisy, just unplug it. And she's got a good point, in all honesty. I just, I read a lot of articles on stuff, and these are awesome. However, if you unplug it at least, you know everything's out of the system, you know. So, always practice safety, because I didn't for many years when I was young. And look. It's a mess. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do first is put some liquid in. Now, you want to pour the chemical in first, the simple green. And it says, heavy duty, half a cup to half a cup of water. Wow. So I'm going to fill this about halfway because I'm going to clean a lot of other parts off film. How many cups is this whole container? It's a gallon, or it's 2.5 liter. I think that's one point, wait, no, it's 0.6 gallon. So I'm just going to mix a random amount up, what I think is right. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get started on it. Uh, Make your measurements a little better than normal. I forget where I got this. Sam's Club. I got a really good deal on it, so Costco would probably be the same. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, if you want, and you have a separate container, okay, you can go ahead and use a cheesecloth, paper towel, paint strainer, your wife's socks and go ahead and strain this back into a separate container, not your simple green container, and reuse it a couple times, unless it's really bad, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill up the water portion of it now. So let's pour our water in, and remember, don't go past that max line, okay? Now Heather was nice enough to bring up warm water, which you can see it's steaming. So it'll help it, uh, you don't have to do that. There's a heater built in, you know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is put the rocker arms in and let them soak while I'm getting everything set up. Okay, so I let the heater run for a little bit. Now, I know I told you not to stick your fingers inside. And um, uh, what I didn't, um, I didn't turn on the, uh, stop. I, I didn't turn on the vibration yet or the electrolysis. I don't know what it's really called, ultrasonic waves, okay? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put... Okay, so 
we're going to go ahead. I didn't have the ultrasonic waves running through. I want to test it to see how warm it is. Be careful though, because, you know, that's pretty warm. I got gloves on, so it's hard to tell. <clears throat> but let's check something. Let's go a step further. Okay. We're going to put that in there because I'm curious to see how hot the water is. So we're going to watch that go up. We are at 94. I thought it'd be hotter than that by now. It must be taking a little while. <clears throat> we are letting all the heat out. Yeah, I know. I was seeing where it was at. Okay. 96. Okay. I'm going to put the lid back on because Heather's right. Now, I do have that soaking right now, but I'm going to go ahead for the first four minutes and turn on the super nuclear, you know, ultrasonic waves. So I already set the timer. You, when you click set, it'll go like 280, 480, and then you're just going to hit on. This is like an experiment lab, okay? But this is great. I hope you can hear me over that. This is great for cleaning old parts up and stuff, especially I'm looking forward to the uh, carb rebuilt uh, next week. I think that's going to be a lot of fun because I do a pretty good job rebuilding and cleaning, but this is going to help me out a lot more. Well, that thing looks brutal inside. So I will be back in four minutes. And I'll have Miss Lovely here, you know, take it out. And you should rinse stuff with water when you're done, but I'm at least, you know, checking it out. Okay, so it's been eight minutes. Now, you can run this through another eight minutes by just hitting set again, okay? I'll get you up close in the end with the camera and show you the settings. So I'm going to go ahead. It shut off itself, but I'm going to turn the power button off, okay? <clears throat> You don't want, well, here, TC, turn the heat off, okay? I'll show you a picture of the diagram with it. And we're going to go ahead, let it go just for a second. And wow, that water's dark. You can see the steam coming off of that. So let's see how cold, actually how hot the water is. And it is... Letting it climb still. So just give it a second, it's leveling out. And the water is 108 degrees, which is fine. You can see right there, it's coming down though. Okay. So, okay, she wants me to unplug it. Remember, watch you don't have no water on your hands or anything when you're unplugging stuff. All right, safety, safety. So, let me grab a towel here, and... And that's why I had to get new bath towels. Because you took, keep taking them and bring them up the garage, and you said, oh, I don't know where they went. I think I need to edit this part out. <laughs> no, you're going to let them know that you're stupid. Anyhow, bull, <laughs> set a towel here. <laughs> Okay. Okay, now you're going to try to... The water's black. I didn't plan on that part. To pull the basket up. Okay, let me get the rocker arm out first. My neighbor yelling. Okay. And I'm just not messing around. Let me grab the nut and bolt. Put that back in. And we'll put this in for now just to keep the, the heat in. Whoops, I didn't know it was directional. Okay, so let me get the old one, or I should say the dirty one. Now this was only one cycle, okay? So let me bring you up close here. I could have wire wheeled these first, but I was more worried about cleaning the threads inside of the nut. It may not look it on film, but they are cleaner. Okay, so it definitely did do its job. Now you can use wire wheel to get the crust off. But look at the rock arms, the difference, and that was only one cycle. Usually it takes two or three cycles. So I don't know if you can tell on film, but it really did do a nice cleaning. 
Now, one thing you should do before you're putting the stuff in is always get like the heavy stuff off. Wow, it's really coming off easy now. Wow. Maybe do one cycle and then take the heavy stuff off. But when you do that, it makes it easier. Now, if you look and compare, you can see how clean these are. Now, obviously, I'll stand here and wait it out. You don't have to because film technology. I'm going to throw them back in for four more minutes, or I'm sorry, eight minutes, but it'll take you 30 seconds and you're going to see it. I want to see what one more cycle does. Hang in there. I'll be right back. This is down to 60 some seconds. So the reason I kicked the camera on right now is so that you can hear that it does shut itself off. So this is the second pass and we're down to 50 seconds. But I did want you to see, can you hear that? Okay, I wanted you to hear it, that it shuts itself off when you set it. So if you do decide, I'm gonna go make a sandwich and turn it on, probably should never leave anything electrical running while you're not around, but we're guys, and I'm sure some of you ladies do the same stuff. But, well, I said some, you know. <laughs> 25 seconds. And I did have the heater running again. So the, the water gets a little hotter than I thought it would, to be honest with you. But Simple Green seems to work pretty well. I'm going to test some other stuff. If you want to see it on film, leave it in the comments. I'm going to test Awesome. I'm going to test Evapo Rust for rusty items like tools or car parts, what have you. And it shut off. I'll pick up on that in a minute. Okay, so now hit the off button, although it turned off, just to make sure. Uh, now it is turned off. Okay, and I turned the heat off. Wow, I wonder if it got any hotter. I'm curious to know. And it is, yeah, it's hotter than before. I'll show you in a second as soon as it's done climbing. 116, almost 118 degrees. So that's pretty good. So everything is shut off. Oh, I can feel that heat through the, through the gloves. Okay, so I like to put the lid on and I did it backwards again, it's directional. Oh wow, that made a difference. Didn't it, right? Oh yeah, and like I said, if you got to use a little brass brush, they actually have these at the dollar store. And I'll get you up close in a minute. Just brush real easy. You're not even putting the effort into this at all, okay? So let me get you a little closer here. I hope it's showing on camera, I really do. But you should be able to see the difference of how clean they are. Like. What I'm going to do, and I won't do it on film and bore you, is pull this clip off the end and slide everything off. You gotta pull these clips and make sure you know how it goes back together. Because this should all be taken apart to clean properly. So that's what I am gonna do. But I was doing a quick tutorial to just show you that. So let's try one more thing to see how it works. Okay, what I'm going to do, hit the TC button, turn the heater back on, although it's still pretty warm. This is from a semi-automatic stick beetle, uh, where it's a three-speed without the clutch pedal. And this is the oil pump. They're much different than the average bear, you know, the standard shift. I'm going to dump that in, or I want to see what that does. Obviously, you can tell this needs brushed, but I want to see if it loosens it up enough and then I can brush it lightly and get it cleaned up. Whatever you do, by the way, these are going for like a hundred bucks now. Don't toss them in the trash. So water's heating up, or I should say the solution. So let's put this in. Okay, that's not gonna go all the way in. So we'll leave it with the gear faced up. We'll send that in, send that in. Okay, should have pulled the other gear off, but it's okay. All right, the water's already pretty well heated, you know that. I keep my stuff really clean. I'm weird. Okay, and we'll set it.
for 480 seconds. Okay, and we're electrocuting it. So be back in two seconds with you, but eight minutes with that. Okay, we're almost done here. Now, and I know I'm dragging this film out, but I'm testing different stuff out. I'm still amazed at these rocker arms, so I'm gonna take them apart so it cleans every piece of it. But we're gonna go ahead, actually turning this off and turning the heat off. Putting my cheater glasses on. Ooh, the heat. Now this was only one cycle, so we'll see. Ah, water's getting hot now. Where this went. Oh, wow. Do you remember what it looked like? I should have actually, ah, should have took a picture of it. Oh, this is coming right off now. Look at that. Holy crap. Yeah, that was only one cycle. Oh man, I should have took a before and after picture. I'm fine. And, oh yeah. I mean, that's the gasket I gotta get off. Where's the, oh my. This is nice. I gotta get the gasket off with a razor knife, so no big deal. But let me put that back in. And let me see, You can you guys see? Should have said something. Okay, this don't need a wire wheel taken to it then, and then you won't damage the, because uh, this is a brass brush, they have them at the dollar store. And just a quick, to get the heavy stuff off, okay, we're going to do one more cycle, and then I'm going to leave you guys get back to your families or hobbies or, you know, I don't know what all you do. Leave it in the comments. What's your hobby besides air cold stuff? Leave it in the comments. I'd be interested to find out. And while I'm doing this a minute, I just wanted to let you know in about seven to 10 days, I'll be doing a huge update on the website because I've been a little lapsadaisy doing other stuff. So, okay, so let's put this back in. Okay. Wipe my hands off here so I don't get crud all over the lid. I like keeping my stuff nice. And Heather wants to use this in her craft room also. I did it again. Okay, heat on. Set it to 480. Bam. All right. We are down to 20 seconds. And one more time, I wanted you to hear it turn off. So... 13, 12. I just wanted to show you this timer does work. Pretty impressed, aren't you? Well, you can use it in your craft room. So, turned off itself. Can you put scissors in there with plastic handles? Yeah. Would it clean scissors? Oh, not with plastic handles. I thought you meant to pull it out. I, I misunderstood you. Wow, this water's black. Honestly, as you can see, I probably should have changed the cleaning solution because it probably would clean a little better. I think I beat this up pretty good. So let me unplug it since I'm done with that part for the day. Can I take it out? Yeah. Okay. You have no, gloves? Yeah, I have my gloves on. Okay. Let me move out of the way. It's like, it's like satisfying. <laughs> um super satisfying turn, turn it over how did it oh, oh my let me get you in a little closer guys that really came out good i am really impressed with that oh, now grab the gear out of there just reach in it's unplugged not gonna hurt you oh yeah now you want to rinse this stuff with water okay and then there should be a gear in there there we go. Oh, this is great. That's nice. Now, all I got to do, I'll take my little brass brush, scrub it a little more, and probably run it one more time. Because you see I left some really thick stuff here, which is no problem. But we'll go ahead and run it one more time. But it'll be off film. You won't need to see it again. This works great. I am so pleased with this. <coughs> the rocker arm cleaned up very nice. I'll Although you should take them apart, you know what I mean? But 
I am really, really happy with this. I didn't think it would do that good of a job. Okay, one thing we learned today is the ultrasonic cleaner worked really well. And you were going to try to film without me. <laughs> okay, and uh, Heather helped us out and we appreciate it. Uh, she's not going to be able to help with the carb uh, rebuild unless she wants to put the stuff in. She likes cleaning stuff, so... Uh, and then after that, we're going to start on the body work. I am going to have her help with some of that metal work back there. So I'm sure she, she likes that stuff. Okay, that worked good. Uh, any questions, any comments, leave them. Please smash the like button because that helps the algorithm to get these videos out so people can see them. Okay, and if you need anything, leave it in the comments, any ideas, and... Simple Green, awesome, Evaporust, Chem Dip, there's a lot of different vinegar. stuff. Vinegar, she's right, 50-50 shot with uh, vinegar, white vinegar. And that's cheap, I think, to buy. Oh yeah, vinegar is really cheap. Okay, I wasn't sure, but because uh, I know she does buy different white vinegars. White vinegar. Okay, that's it, guys. It, Just ask your wife. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a wife, go to the store and ask them. Yeah, and leave in the comments if you have any questions. And share the channel if you can on Facebook. We'll get that group up and running in about one week and we'll name it like Slade's community members or something. I'll figure it out. But leave in the comments what you want it called. And then we'll see a lot of other people on her that do cool stuff too. So it'll be a huge addition. All right. Thank you. I Thanks appreciate it. Thanks for having it. me. And we will be back next week on Friday night. Have a great upcoming weekend, everybody. And God bless.